We test all kinds of laptops, and we've been reviewing MacBooks since the very first polycarbonate MacBook appeared in 2006, and Apple's PowerBooks and iBooks before that. The current lineup is split between the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air, and the differences between the two lines are significant. The current MacBook Pros are great for those who need higher level processing and graphics performance for content creation, graphic design, and advanced STEM work, and gaming too. The Air is more of an everyday laptop that favors portability over performance, though it has power to spare and long battery life going by our test. That's why the Air is our best MacBook for most people. Apple's latest MacBooks are the new M4 MacBook Pros released just a few weeks ago. But the 13-inch M3 MacBook Air remains our recommendation for most people. It's not just the best overall MacBook, it's our pick for the best overall laptop. Especially if you can find it with a $200 discount for just $899. It's our favorite because it offers stellar performance from Apple's M3 processor, along with long battery life and a design that works for a wide range of people. You'll need to wait until next year for the MacBook Air to receive an M4 update, but it did receive a boost when the new M4 Pros were announced. The M3 Air now comes with 16 GB of RAM at minimum, up from the meager 8 GB Apple previously offered on the base model. And you can get this added memory without a price increase. The M3 MacBook Air comes in two sizes, and each is useful depending on your needs. The 13.6-inch Air sits in the sweet spot of providing enough screen space for getting things done, while remaining eminently portable. And the 15.3-inch Air is a great choice if you want a larger screen and don't want to pay the upcharge for a MacBook Pro. Here are the best MacBooks for 2025. The best overall MacBook is the M3 MacBook Air 13-inch. For Apple's latest MacBook Air, little has changed from its predecessor beyond a move from Apple's M2 silicone to M3 chips. The performance differences are overall modest, but graphics performance does get a notable bump. The biggest feature additions are faster Wi-Fi 6E support and the capability to run dual external displays, albeit at the cost of having the Air's lid closed. The best budget MacBook with a big screen, the M3 MacBook Air. The 15-inch MacBook Air is proof that you don't need a Pro to get a larger display. It supplies a larger screen previously found only on the pricier Pro models. If you're eyeing the 14 or 16-inch Pro models primarily for the added screen size, the Air 15 is the more affordable option you should go for. The best budget MacBook, the M1 MacBook Air. This model has been surpassed but not replaced by the newer M2 and M3 models. Now it's available at Walmart for $649, which is a hefty $350 less than its original price. It's also $350 less than the M2 Air and $450 less than the M3 model. For many years, this this Apple laptop was everyone's favorite laptop. It was reasonably priced, thin, light, and built like a tank. It could last for years and take lots of falls and bumps. You get only two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports, but for most people, that's enough. It's a great pick for students looking for a speedy and stylish do-it-all laptop. The best MacBook for creatives, the M4 Pro MacBook Pro. Apple's latest update, its 16-inch MacBook Pro delivers M4, M4 Pro, and M4 Max processors, along with an improved webcam and an optional nano texture, non-reflective finish for the display. The design remains unchanged from the previous version, but under the hood, the new M4 Pro chip offers better overall performance, and in particular, big gains in multi-core and rendering performance. Like the previous series, the 16-inch MacBook Pro with the M4 Pro processor starts at $2,499, and the M4 Max model starts at $3,499. The previous M3 Pro version won our editor's choice for its excellent combination of design, performance, and battery life. We're currently testing the latest M4 Pro model and we'll have a final rating soon, but you can expect the 16-inch MacBook Pro to continue to be among our favorites for graphics, pros, and creators. The first fork in the road you'll come to when shopping for a MacBook is whether to follow the Air Path or head down the Pro Road. For most people looking for an everyday home laptop or a work laptop for running basic office apps, a MacBook Air will suffice. An Air is also the better pick for students on tight budget. Creative types who need the added processing and graphics muscle of Apple's new M4 Pro and Max chips 
a MacBook Pro is worth the added cost. To help you find the right MacBook for your needs and budget, here are the main considerations to keep in mind. The prices. The entry price for a MacBook is $649. That gets you the M1 MacBook Air that was released in 2020. If you're shopping at Apple, pricing starts at $999 for the M2 MacBook Air and $1,099 for the current M3 MacBook Air. The size and display. If you'll be taking your MacBook with you to class or work or just down to your local coffee shop most mornings, an Air is the better choice. The 13-inch MacBook Air models weigh less less than 3 pounds, and the roomier 15-inch Air weighs only 3.3 pounds, which is lighter than the 14-inch MacBook Pro. The flip side to portability is screen size. The 16-inch MacBook Pro gives you ample room on which to work and multitask, while the 14-inch MacBook Pro tries to hit the sweet spot between roomy display and travel ease. Processor the processor, aka the CPU, is the brains of the laptop. MacBooks have used Apple's own processors since the introduction of the M1 processor in 2020. The M1-based MacBooks were clear improvements over Apple's preceding Intel-based machines in terms of overall performance, efficiency, and battery life. M1 MacBooks were more powerful with longer run times while also operating more coolly and quietly. Graphics the graphics processor handles all the work of driving the screen and generating what gets displayed, as well as speeding up a lot of graphics-related and increasingly AI-related operations. Apple's M1 and M2 CPUs integrate the GPU. The more processing cores the GPU has, the better the graphics performance. Memory Memory or RAM is where the operating system stores all the data for currently running applications, and it can fill up fast. After that, it starts swapping between RAM and SSD, which is slower. MacBook Air models now start at 16 GB of RAM, along with the 14-inch M4 MacBook Pro. The minimum on the M4 Pro MacBook Pro models is 24 GB, and the M4 Max MacBook Pros serve up to 36 GB or more.